great job. There is a little bit of swell today, and it's just not the most comfortable. It's not like we have time, because we have this thing coming. We're Jen, Elliot, and Ollie. In 2019, we booked a one-way flight to Colombia, and after traveling to 11 countries, we were locked down in India for five months. Coming back to the U.S., we decided to pivot into boat life and cruise on a 6,000-mile journey called America's Great Loop. Make sure to subscribe as we share the highs, lows, and everything in between. Good morning. Today is the first day that we are going to be leaving our spot here in Deltaville. We're going to test out the work that we did on our shaft seal. So we have a short cruise planned today to Reedville and hopefully our shaft seal will not leak. We also have some foul weather coming this afternoon, which is another reason why we're doing a short cruise. And today, Jen is going to be leaving from the anchorage and be practicing those small boat handling skills uh, and tight maneuvers. It's really beautiful right now, so hopefully the wind doesn't pick up like it's supposed to. We're supposed to be done with the cruise by then, so no problem either way. And the wind is coming from a good direction. So we're traveling north and we have a south wind and we also have south swell. Alright, now I'm going to go forward and start raising it up. Yeah. Up a little bit more. Bump it forward. Neutral. Yeah. Bring it up. Stop. Bring it up. Up. Bump it, neutral. It's out of the water. Yeah. Is there a lot on it? Sort of, a lot of it just came off. Bringing it up. Okay. Forward. Out again. A great job. It is a very narrow entrance to the south side of Deltaville. Well marked, but still very narrow. There's this huge shoal over here. Yeah, but it's well marked, so it's not too bad. Jen's doing a great job navigating. It's been a great cruise so far. The prop shaft is not leaking. There is a little bit of swell today and that was forecasted. It was supposed to be, I think, one to 1.5 feet every three seconds. But the good thing is that it's going with pivot. So we have following seas. Um, but that's still, I mean, the waves sort of seem a little bit higher than that and a little bit more frequent. <laughs> you can probably tell how much we're rocking. And that's coming from behind us. So it's not the most comfortable cruise not bad it's not comfortable it's we've had way worse I'll knock on wood yeah. now we have like an hour and a half left hour 45 left of our cruise to Reedville and yeah it's just not the most comfortable if the waves were going any other direction it would probably be a no-go for us even though it doesn't look that bad out I'll try to get you guys a close-up of the swell but it's really hard to show the swell on camera unless the swell is huge um, because the perspective is weird the shading is weird. 
So. Stingray, stingray. Oh, a bunch of stingrays. Wow. I got it. That was cool. There was like, what, eight of them, I think. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. Wow, how pretty. Pretty. We've passed a few very large fishing boats, vessels, that are coming into this area as well. And so we've read on the chart to be careful where you anchor because there's a lot of these boats passing by. So we're gonna take precaution. Overall, the cruise has been really well. There was probably 30 minutes of choppier weather than we would have liked, where it seemed like it was more like two or three foot seas, which is not what we like to cruise in on the Chesapeake for the Chesapeake, we like one to two foot, and that's kind of it. Good job, Captain. Thanks. Smell the fish processing plant. Stinks. Slack tide, so there's the boats, and in a couple hours, it's gonna be going that way. Okay. We're gonna be like that way out. All right, so reverse on it. Yep, just okay. back, just like slowly, like bump Jockey. it and reverse, bump it and reverse, bump it, and then, and then like keep an eye on the chain. I'm gonna keep an eye too, okay. and then whenever it's about to get taunt, that's when we'll full on reverse it. Okay, ready? Reverse. Neutral. Reverse. Neutral. It's starting to get a little bit more taut, so. Reverse. We can probably hold yes. it in reverse now. Hold it? Yeah. Okay. And just, you're, you're, it's harder for me to see behind the boat, so you're going to make sure we don't get too close over there. Okay. Just like. What happens if we start dragging? Then you're going to go back into neutral and then into forward. Okay. Got All it. Right. All right. Yep. Reverse. It's fighting pretty well. So, increase the RPMs to 1,000. Okay. So it's at 800. Yep. What does the GPS say? How much speed are we getting? 0.38. Zero GPS. All right, that's good. So, so now, now throttle down. down to zero. Okay. Back to neutral. Okay. Neutral. So now that's it's set. Good okay. job. How close are we back there? I think we're okay. Okay. And that's, I mean, that's the closest we should ever get back there. All right. Drop it? Yep. Good job, Captain. Good job. Uh, done? Um, yeah, let's turn off the engine. Yeah. Let's go check out Reedville. We are in the search for either ice cream, grilled cheese, and or both. Bye, pivot. Stay right there. And the smell has pretty much gone away. It, it has subsided. It was really bad crossing it, but at the anchorage, it's been a lot better. Now I have like a smoky smell. It smells actually pretty good. Yeah. Like a campfire smell. We have decided to come to Cockrell's Creek 
Delhi, seafood in Delhi. And it's pretty neat, they have that, one of those big giant fishing ships, like literally unloading right here. Um, it smells very seafoody and very local, which is cool. I ordered a fried crab cake sandwich with hush puppies. Now I was between the oysters and the crab cake. We're in the Chesapeake. We're not in Maryland, which they're known for, but we're in Virginia. And yeah, so I'm really looking forward to this. Talk about local though. This is it. And I got a grilled cheese with french fries. But we're gonna be sharing it all, so can't wait to dive in. Simple and delicious, just a good old fashioned grilled cheese. They did it right. French fries, salty, crispy. There's like McDonald's fries. It's a good thing. Mm -mm -mm. Now I got mine with tomato, onion, and lettuce. And then tartar sauce and cocktail sauce on the side. Mmm, 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 mmm. The crab cake is filled with crab meat. That is so delicious. Nice and cri crispy on the outside because it's fried, but it is packed full of crab meat. That was delicious. Just what the soul needed with our friends. There's a Looper Couple Redemption. We met them yesterday. In our previous Anchorage. Our previous Anchorage, and they came to Reedville as well. They beat us here, and they told us about an ice cream shop over there, so we might go there. <laughs> We're just flagging them down to come here because they need to try the crab cakes here. Yeah. We were just talking about how inside the seafood deli, it was impeccably clean. And that's something that does not come easy. People must pay very close attention to it. So we were very impressed. It's coming. Good? Not good. Instead of going across the way to the ice cream and the museum, we found out from our neighbors on Redemption that everything is closed today. It is a Monday. Um, it's a small town in the Chesapeake. You know, it's not quite summer time, so nothing's open on that side of town. They said they couldn't find any place to spend money. It's not like we have time because we have this thing coming. We might just postpone that, and uh, we're just happy we were able to get some food. Good food. It's amazing, it's so beautiful out here right now. The rain just came and made everything nice and cool. It's like 60 degrees and it was 80 today. Oh, this is amazing. The history of Reedville is back in like the early 1900s. The settlers that were here um, really prospered in the fishing industry. And so they built these massive Victorian mansions right along this waterway here in Reedville. And it kind of just goes to show like fishing, its importance in this particular area. Kind of cool.
There is also a Reedville Fisherman's Museum, which goes into more of the history and background of Reedville, the fishing industry, and how the two work together. So it was closed today, like our friends on Redemption mentioned, but it's an interesting thing to see and do if you're going to stop here. Oh wow, look at that reflection with the clouds. It doesn't get much nicer than this. With that, we're back at Pivot. Jin cooked a fantastic lentil bolognese, which we'll have to show you guys in the vlog. I don't know if we've shown you guys yet. But it was a good day today. If you guys are as happy as we are that we didn't have a big leak today, make sure you hit that subscribe button and like this video. Um, yeah, it was a good day for that. Barring everything else that happened today, which was fantastic, that alone made it amazing. Tomorrow we're continuing north, we're heading to Solomon's, and we are, it's gonna be a huge milestone tomorrow. So make sure you stay tuned for that, and we'll see you guys then. Mac and cheese? Mac and mac and cheese. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do a piling. Okay, push again. Where are you going? Long course, dinghy practice. Dinghy practice? We don't need dinghy practice. That's fun. Okay, this is this game out of hand. <laughs> Try to juke me. I was trying to juke. 